Maga get on another bit of truth breakdown. Now, we go basically talk about the human being organs in this video. As they're telling you a story about an inmate supposed to be returned to family without art. Now, we're going to talk about it because this is a serious thing that's been going on under the queue that a lot of people don't pay attention to. Is the human being organs. And most human beings that you think actually bury with their organ never have it. That's what you need to understand. The government people already stripped them of their organs before they put them in the ground or supposed to be cremating them. This is what they do to the human beings. Have them running around like parts. And every time you die, they basically can't wait to get to take off your parts, including your damn organs. We're going to talk about it in this video that they're supposed to be going to let out. Make it run. A new federal mm -hmm. lawsuit is taking on the mm -hmm. Alabama Department of Corrections after an inmate's body was returned to his family missing an organ. And listen, people, you hear who taking them on? The federal government, the same people who own those supposed to be institutions that they use to all human beings. You have to understand it's them. The same government people who own those prisons, even if they tell you it's privately owned. Same devil people own that shit. So I'm going to tell you this right now. Most of the people that die in prison never bury with organs. They actually take them out and it's not for no damn research. It's for the damn people who run this earth. It ain't for research. Pay attention here. He was returned to them without a heart. Mm -hmm. And he is not the only inmate returned in a similar condition. That? An autopsy mm -hmm. was conducted on 43-year-old Brandon Dotson mm -hmm. shortly after he died in prison. Listen. But when his body was returned, his loved ones discovered his heart was missing. And how much cases, people, they're going to ba basically get that chance to re exhume the body again like somebody from the family member going to be checking the body this deep to realize that it ain't got no organ just newspaper stuffed in it that's what you need to understand a lot of people never really check these funerals homes and them things already take out the organs out the human being when they die and then they show you an empty body like i say stuffed with newspaper this is what they do and they can't wait for you to fall for them to start taking your organs that's why they want you to put it on your driver's license. They even will find ways to get rid of your damn ass just to get that organ. Instead, mm -hmm. an investigation suggests the organ was taken by forensic pathologists Listen. at the University of Alabama, Birmingham for medical research. You hear that, people? This is how they're going to do it when they tell you these things on the nose. They have to find a way to polish it off so it won't look that bad. But it's already busted. That's why they bring it to you. You have to understand... Whenever the news come to you and bringing you something like you, you feel like they're revealing something is something that got exposed. So now they have to play the good guy still by revealing some things, but not the whole thing. You have to understand this is what they do from day one. Don't be thinking it's something new. Taken by forensic pathologists mm -hmm. at the University of Alabama, Birmingham yes. for medical research uh -huh. without the family's consent. Yes, and because it's medical research, you will understand, but you don't get it. They're not researching shit. How long you think they've been researching the masses right here in plain sight? What do you think? You think they need to go take a, a human being heart now to, to basically do research? You're dumb as a rock if you believe that, people. That's not what they do. They already study you. They know everything about you inside and out. They don't have to take no human being heart to study shit right now. Wake your ass up. Joining us band. now is the Dodson family attorney, Lauren Ferreno. Mm -hmm. Lauren, we appreciate you joining us. And can we start with you just sharing a little more about this case? How did Brandon's family discover Listen. that his heart was missing in the first mm -hmm. place? Sure. So Brandon's family learned that his heart was missing because they hired a second pathologist to conduct an oh, autopsy. Okay. Alabama's mm -hmm. prisons have been in crisis now for years. Okay, and so what if they, that person never asked for a second autopsy? They would have never known that the organ is missing. Like I said, you know, in a lot of cases, the people don't do that. Their family member die and they just take what the police said and that's it. They're not going to ask for independent autopsy. You understand what I'm saying? Unless they have some kind of suspicion of the death. You have to understand that. So most of those prisoners that die in there, they're never going to bury with the organs. Listen. They didn't trust the results that were going to come from the Department of Corrections itself. Mm -hmm. So when they reached into their retirement savings to mm -hmm. hire the second pathologist, mm -hmm. 
the pathologist told them that a heart was not in the body. Wow. And since mm-hmm. then, we've learned that many other families have been impacted as well. I mean, as mm-hmm. you mentioned, this is not the only instance of an inmate being returned without their organs. Mm-hmm. We know another Alabama family. It's not only inmates, people, and they're going to point the finger at only Alabama. This is what they do, people. It's a practice. Remember, they share the organ supposedly around the world. Everybody searching for a kidney, a liver, a heart. All of these things that dying now in the new world order. They're killing all your organs and now it's a rush to get it. Do you understand that? Everybody need another piece of organ because theirs is damaged by this world. So listen, pay attention. They need these organs from the masses, the elite people. That's what they do. Listen. They had to bury their father without any of his organs mm-hmm. after they were remo- removed in an autopsy. Mm-hmm. Uh, does the University of Alabama have any... Listen, people. Let me explain this to you because that's what I told you. The news is a fake shit. They don't take that shit in no autopsy. They take it, period. Do you have what I'm saying right here? They take in the organs, period. They don't care about them damn human beings anyway. They're going to take the organs... Because they need those things. They're going to bury the empty body. Like I tell you, this is what they do. And most of the time at a funeral home, you see them lower your family member into the ground. They never throw the dirt on. <laughs> you don't get it, people. I went to a funeral back in the days and I watched that shit. And they lower that the dead in the ground. Then they say everything is done and everybody leave. We never see them throw dirt on it and, and seal the dead in there. You understand what I'm saying? So you never know what they're doing, people. They go back there and rob the dead of the organs. That's a practice that they're doing long, long time ago. It ain't just in Alabama and on them autopsy. Do you understand? This is something that they have to do. The world government put that shit in place, just like they're giving you abortion and everything because they have to take those supposed fetuses. They have to keep it. They want it to do their shit. Things that mean a lot to them, you might think that it's not, but it's, they do. They need those things. Even the placenta from the mom having a baby in the hospital, they keep all of them things. Sound funny, but it's real. Same way they do take your organs before they bury the body. Listen. Right to these organs, do they need the families to consent? Mm-hmm. They don't need We do shit. believe that they need mm-hmm. the families to consent. Right. And right now they are using mm-hmm. the consent of the wardens Listen. to take and take these yeah. organs so and you hear that people? The consent of the wardens. So the warden is what own those people. Do you understand that? Of course they're not gonna contact somebody out outside in the street to ask them about an inmate if we can have their organs. No. They own those prisoners. They own them, period. You die there, they own your body. So that's why they can take the organs and then they say, yeah, we got the go-ahead from the wardens. Dumb on. Use them for whatever purpose they see fit. Wow. The law is very clear that it requires family consent Mm -hmm. for the retention of organs. Mm -hmm. And what we're seeing is these people who are dying in prison custody being treated Mm -hmm in a way that no other person in society mm-hmm. is being treated. They're I being... remember these people. At the end of the day, you don't know how that person died. <laughs> remember, you find him without organs. How can you tell how that person died? Or everything got to be in place for the autopsy to happen. Do you understand that you can't have no missing organs doing no damn autopsy? You understand that? Listen. Treated less than, and the wardens are giving these permissions that they don't actually have the authority to give. Mm-hmm. There you the go. Department of Corrections states that autopsies are only performed when an inmate's death is suspicious or unnatural. You hear that, people? Just... Only when the death is suspicious, who gonna decide if the death is suspicious or not? And what is natural causes? Everybody's stupid nowadays. There ain't such thing as natural cause of death, people. What's the natural way to die? I'm listening for you to tell me what's the natural way to die. What is it? Because everything is something wrong with you when you die, man. Your body breaks down, something wrong. You lose these organs, something wrong while you die. You don't die from no natural causes. That's nothing ex- exists called natural causes of death. No way natural to die. 
Just listen when I tell you that shit. So yes, people, most of the time, they do their own autopsy, supposedly, in that prison. And then the dead just bury or burn. Do you get it? So you're not going to know what killed those people. Most has to know if they're going to have organs. Dotson family have any clarity over what exactly happened to their son? We don't have much clarity about anything. There was a hearing that we had to try to determine where is this heart. Wow. And I think all of us left that hearing more confused. Wow, than our airing people, they go to an airing to, to find out what happened to the heart or where is the heart and they leave it, the airing. They don't know shit. Same way they go in. You believe it, people, they play with us with these reports. Like I tell you, government operation to take the human being organs. 100% in and that's the reason why they have a lot of people put it on their driver's license that's so important the organ is to them but nobody pay attention just like the red cross with the bloody cross taking your blood worldwide nobody pay attention to these evil people and what they're doing to us move donating wow. your organs to science wow. is a noble look at this fucker right here on screen people and every time you see one of these news reporters, you understand that I'm right on the money when I tell you these are not real humans. What are they? So you sit there and you believe that's a real woman. Something is really wrong with you people. This is how you have to look at these people that bring you the news, the deception. They all deceptive and look at the neck on it people. It's almost like he can't hold in the skin, the skin stretching under the neck. And the neck don't even hold up. He didn't even hold up the head for the skin to stretch under the neck. What is going on? What is this they call highs? You don't get it, people. This is a wicked world you live in. Look who bring you information and telling you to donate your organs. Listen. Donating your organs to science is a noble thing to do. Wow. Do it. What a fucking sodomite on TV. Are you kidding me? Is a very noble thing to do to donate your organ to science. Unbelievable. Do you know what science? They're the one who destroying you on earth, people. What you want, what you can get. The scientists supposedly and these supposedly chemists and they're not working for you, they're working against you, they're working for the people who control you here. Everything they come up with is to keep you trapped. Yes, sick and die and everything have complication where you're living. How you're gonna die? That's it. These are the people who set the stage. Pay attention here. Donate your damn organ to science. Put it on your damn driver's license. That's what the Salamite tell you. Write it on your license. Wow. Make sure you do it. Right? Wow. It's noble, but mm -hmm. having your organs taken from mm -hmm. you in secret after wow. you die, for reasons you unknown. And look at the fucking look on the face, man, while he's talking and then knows. It's deception. It's just deception, people. So yes, you need to put it on your driver's license. Yes, that you're an organ donor so they won't steal the organ from you. They will wait till you're dead and take it. What a damn joke, people. Either way, yes, they're going to dismantle that body that you're living right now. The vessel that you're occupying right now with your soul. Like I say, it got a lot to do with where your soul going to end up. What you let them do to your body here on earth. With uh, no apparent mm -hmm. authorization. Well, mm -hmm. that is something that'll get y'all sued. Mm -hmm. And in Listen, Alabama, get two sued. separate families say the remains mm -hmm. of their loved ones who died in state prisons mm -hmm. were literally gutted. Just Charles Singleton talk. died mm -hmm. back in 2021. Mm -hmm. He was 74. And when his and they keep showing these people, you know, clean cut and everything, talking about their dying prison. Wow. What a story, people. So what about the other prisoners that die in prison, man? What about all of them that die? You check for their organs? You come up with these supposed stories. Fake shit on the dumb masses. You never get it. These people that they show up as victims on TV, fakers. So you have to understand the real victims been sweep under the rug. Like I say, I don't believe that no prisoners that die in prison ever bury with their organs or burn with their organs. You better understand it's too important to them to have those organs. You think they're going to put it in the dirt or burn it? Wake up. Her attempted to plan a funeral. She was told it would be, quote, difficult mm -hmm. to prepare his body for viewing, end quote. Listen. Because of its, quote, noticeable state of decomposition. 
Wow. And quote, advanced... It's a fake shit, people. It's a fucking fake shit. Like I don't tell you, these things happen for real, but they're highlighting one story that's not real. Like I tell you, people, you believe that those people who take the organ are going to come tell you about Oh, it's kind of really difficult for us to put the body together for viewing because it's decomposing. No, people. Like I tell you, they stuff newspaper in that shit, in that person, and they're making sure that you can't tell by looking at the body that is actually empty. You have to understand that. So no, they're not going to give you no hints for you to bust, no, bust the whole thing. Come on, people. So you want to tell me that those people at the funeral home don't have no understanding where the organs go? Listen, they're the same one that took it. Because of its, quote, noticeable state of decomposition. Get out of here. And, quote, advanced wow. skin slippage. Wow, what a dumb shit. Advanced skin slippage. You see what I try to tell you, people? That's what I tell you about the news, man. They can never tell you no truth. Everything they tell you is go towards the deception. No matter how it sounds. It sounds so good you want to believe it. But it's still fuckery. 100% in. That's super revolting, but wow. there's more. The mortician reported that all of Singleton's internal organs, including his brain, mm -hmm. were Listen. missing. Wow. Reportedly, there Told had been an man. autopsy wow. at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Mm -hmm. But officials there won't say why or what happened. So what's so special about this one guy that they have to take all his organs for research, including his damn brain? You are kidding me? This is a joke right here, people. Like I tell you. This is how they do it to make sure they regulate these things. The news, the media, they have to regulate what you get to, what get to to you. So yes, we already know they're stealing organs and they're killing people just for their organs. We already know that. So when you come and bring us this story right now, we're supposed to respect the news as telling truth. All they're giving you right now is deception. The story is fake. It don't make up to be a real story, people. The story is fake. Like I say, if they're going to lie to you just to bring something to your attention, not good. Listen. To Singleton's organs. The state does say that dead inmates are generally autopsied only when deaths are considered unlawful, suspicious, <laughs> or unnatural. Mm -hmm. But Charles Singleton's death was none of those things. Mm -hmm. So this is all coming out now as part of a lawsuit over a second and very similar case from last November. This one involves a 43-year-old Alabama prisoner named Brandon Dotson, wow. who was found dead. If this is not an agenda, something is wrong, people. Why is all in Alabama? Does that make sense, people? Why is it all only Alabama they highlighting? They're talking about the first guy that lost even his brain, people. Wow, unbelievable. Like I say, people, you can listen to them if you want, but I already know the truth. The truth is... Yes, they do take people organs, but not what they tell you right here. Listen, in any case that you die, your family member not going to basically go in certain, you know, deep down checking anything and they want to do anything. They check all of that first. They make sure none of that ain't going to happen before they actually strip them of the organs. Don't worry about it. They can take the organs and nobody understand or know when they did. But they're going to take the body, the art, the, the, the supposed to be organs before they burn it, body, or before they put it in the ground. You have to remember that. That most of those people that you see buried never bury with those organs. So think about it, people. Think about prisoners. They have no control of their life the whole time, and then they die in the hands of the damn people. Of course, they go strip them way, way more than their damn organs they're taking. You have to understand that this is the world we live in, people. And like I say, it's organ shortage. It's a rush now to get organs. The amount of people that they tell you are wait, waiting for kidney, waiting for heart transplant, all of these things. They even start making them in lab, growing cells to make organs so the people can get it, supposedly. But you don't get it. They have a bigger agenda with those organs. Who knows what the devil people doing with it? Behind closed door. Yes, but I'm on the run. Bam.